great day. And you know, the beer and wine exhibits, they were very popular last year, so popular that they decided to bring it back this year. Yeah, you can get wine tastings for only $5, which is hard to beat. And you can learn about the grape growing in Indiana as well. When you're sitting there talking to the folks as they're pouring you a glass, yep. they'll be happy to sit there and talk to you about all the grape growing in Indiana. And you can start to appreciate wine from the vine to the bottle. Good morning, Indiana anchor Beth Vaughn has this report from Grand Hall. Here in Grand Hall, it's for the 21 and up crowd, and that's because they serve wine and beer here. I want to bring in Jake. You're going to pour a beer for us. Which one is this? This is the uh, New Day Shelby Blue Ribbon. Very good, and they are located in Fountain Square. That's right, from the bottom up. There you go. And they also have wine here. I want to bring in another pour here. What wine are you going to pour for us? Oh, this is Larry's Luscious. Very good. Also an Indiana wine. There are 80 Indiana wineries actually right now. And I want to bring in Jeanette Merritt from Indiana Wines. It seems like the wine business here is just booming. It really is. We have 80 wineries now all across the state. We'll have about 30 or 35 of them represented here at the Indiana State Fair. That's so much fun. Is it fun to be able to share that love here at this staple of tradition in Indiana? It really is. The Indiana wine industry is such a part of agriculture in the state. And so to be able to talk to people about our grape growing in Indiana and what a vital part of agriculture, agritourism that it is, and the two million visitors that come and visit, uh, it is so much fun to share that with our visitors at the great Indiana State Fair. And Indiana just recently got a great honor with Easley Winery coming out with the Wine of the Year. Was that just awesome to get that honor? It really was. The Purdue Wine Grape Team, in conjunction with Purdue University, runs one of the largest wine competitions in the country. We bring wine from Spain and Australia and California, wines from all around the world to compete for this Wine of the Year Award, like Grand Champion of Indiana of Wine from across the country. Yeah. Easley's Tremont at one. And uh, so for an Indiana wine to beat some of those better-known wine-growing regions is pretty exceptional. And Jeanette tells me that Indiana wine is just as good or better than wines from California and wherever, so make sure you try one here at Grand Hall during the State Fair. They're open every day until 9 or 11, depending on what day you come. So try it out. Beth Vaughn, RTV6.